Hello, this is Burton's Art Studio coming to you from YouTube. So I got a story. I was walking through Walmart today, just checking out to see what supplies I had, and I decided to take a walk through the art section. I came across these tubes filled with cheap, fast-drying H2O substance that mysteriously become H2O resistant when dried. Legend has it that these materials are very easy to work with. And because of their quick drying ability, they have become a favorite for both young artists and old alike. These chemical combines can be given many names by many different cultures. However, on a whole, to the human race, they are better known as acrylics, a fast drying, cheap paint substance that many beginners love to use. No, literally, they're very cheap. They cost me like 50 cents a pop, so I got five of them for 250. There were more expensive acrylics, however, due to my limited use of acrylics, I figured I wanted to try something cheaper first before actually getting the very expensive $1.50 per pop ones. However, I do have a confession to make. Um, my painting with acrylics is very, very limited. Actually, to tell you the truth, I've never painted with acrylics. No, literally, I jumped straight from watercolor to oil, and I love painting with oil so much that I never even bothered to experiment with acrylics. Although some people are irritated at the long drying process of oils, I actually like it very much because you're not being rushed to work with your piece trying to get done before the paint underneath dries. It's actually been a very relaxing experience for me. However, this can be a problem if I'm trying to get a painting done by a certain period of time. By the way, Debbie, if you're watching this, I still haven't forgotten about you. Your painting is still drying. I know you've waited for about six months. However, the left petal on the flower is still a little bit tacky, and I, you might want to wait another month before I give it to you. Now, if I wanted to get a painting done for a friend really quickly, I suppose I could go back to watercolors. However, I never really liked watercolors because I could never control what they did and they never came out as I wanted. I mean, take a look at this. Just just look at it. Look at it. Look at it. That's a trick. Can you tell? It's blobs of green and brown and mustard and ketchup falling from the sky on the green stuff that I think was supposed to be grass. So to paint a high quality painting in a short period of time, I figured I'd experiment with acrylics. You can still paint them on a canvas and they're supposed to be easy to work with, at least that's what all my friends say, so I figured why not just give it a try. Cheap acrylic, just paint it on a canvas and good to go. The only issue I have now is I have no idea what I want to paint for my first painting with acrylics. Like, nothing. I got nothing up here. I got some projects that I want to do with oil, but I feel that it's best that I stick with oil for those because of their complex figures and stuff. So that's where you come in. Except for maybe you. You, you stay back. Just stay back. I want to invite my viewers to comment and post on what ideas they have for me to paint for my first acrylic painting. And I will review the comments and whoever I think has the best, craziest idea will win. And I shall paint the painting. I will warn you, I don't really do portraits. Well, correction, I don't do human portraits because I've done some other interesting alien portraits. Like, I got... This guy I did with watercolors. I got this hat guy that has three eyes and a monocle. I've even got a private eye on this picture right here. No, literally, he's like an eyeball wearing a 50s gangster outfit. So, I'm pretty open, and because they're acrylics and they're cheap, I'm willing to experiment with just about anything, so... Go wild. Give me a good, give me a good suggestion, and I shall attempt to paint it. After this is all said and done, either I'll find that I love acrylics and they may be my new medium, I may decide that I want to semi-use acrylics and that'd be okay too, or I may decide that I stick and hate acrylics and 
burn what's left of it and never use it again and just stick to oil, which that's fine too. But either way, definitely give me some suggestions because I want to get my subscribers involved in this a little bit and I think it would be fun. So um, please post, uh, just review the video and uh, let me know. This is Burton Art Studio signing off.